remember. All I'm offering is the truth. If you go back uh, 225 or 30 years ago, you have what we call the Illuminati that was established uh, in 1776. And the goals of the Illuminati, this is all very well documented, are to take over the world. One of the best ways of taking over the world is to control people's minds. To control people's minds. To control people's minds. To control people's minds. You'll notice that all these people who say these things never offer any proof, never offer any documentation, never can prove what they say. It's just blather, so much blather. Keep you spinning your wheels, chasing myths, spinning around in eddies, these little whirlpools by the side of the stream while the world passes you by. And there's lots of them out there. Lots of lies. You see the problem that that people have is they listen to this from somebody and they think that that somebody is is trying to do them a favor and so they believe it without checking Oh, it's Jesus is meant to do it. Muhammad Allah, what are you talking about? Well, that's all that humanist stuff. Man being his own god. Oh, satanic evil. So we already know that, you know, that's not a common held theory. But wait a minute. What then is the motive that makes people refute that statement? Before we get into what they're into, you're a Christian. You're, why would you feel motivated to not accept that man is his own savior? I'm very interested in that. I'm very interested in as to why you, not the cult, not the clan, not your guru, why you would, you know, have a problem with that. What's in your psychology that has made you in the 20 years of your life or the 25 years of your life or the 40 years of your life not have enough brain cells to realize, my God, that's, that's the bottom line. Because in my opinion, if you don't accept that, you are an unsane person. You're not insane, you're unsane. You're toxic and you, you you know you need to be quarantined or something. You know you need to be quarantined or something. Now just who owns this world anyway? People get this idea, I am God. 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 We're not such big shots, folks, okay? You're not God, okay? And the job's not even available anyway. But uh, I can certainly tell you that those quotes that have been taken from the book Magic and Theory and Practice have been totally misinterpreted. This is a case in point I was just talking to you about, Doug. Is that people take one little line from Magic and Theory and Practice about the child sacrifices and so on without, without even pre printing the whole passage. People need to go to that area of the book. In fact, they need to go to the book and read it about the incredible, beautiful, the spirituality of that man and of that book. Even if you took this out of context, though, I mean, just logically speaking, you're, you're apologizing for something that is a, a very clearly a, a huge part of this New World Order agenda. I mean, people have spent a lot of time implicating Aleister Crowley as a major player in this New World Order game, and here is uh, this guy uh, defending the hell out of this guy. I want to continue to show you some of Tassarian's beliefs and how they are Masonic to the core, right down to his hope for reducing the population and a dislike of the idea of man as the head of the family and getting rid of all borders and national sovereignty. He will go through a list of things that he implies came into the world through the idea of the Hebrew God in the Bible. He also throws in some obviously bad ideas that I guess he wants you to think that God likes. We have culture based on acquired inheritance. We have walled cities, enclosed cities, 
We have the domestication of animals. We have meat diet. We have the family organization now with the male at the head. We have the phenomenon of overpopulation. Even the idea of suggesting that in a utopia, no one would eat meat is interesting to me. Because in the Bible, it makes a vivid description of what the New World Order system will look like. And oddly, Tassarian's hope for humanity is close to what we see presented here. In 1 Timothy 4, verse 1, it says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly, that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry, and commanding to abstain from meats. Petrovna Blavatsky? Right. Yes. right. Yes, I have all of her works. You have? Yes. Well, that's why... Yes. I no, think her, her, her best work was Isis Unveiled Part 2, which is uh, Theology. Right. Science. And uh, that was an exceptional uh, work. I think that Helena Petrovna Blavatsky, the Russian mystic, was a very wise and perceptive lady and she had some very profound uh, knowledge, uh, obviously, and her academic uh, uh, achievements were, were extraordinary, and so I have a very high respect for the work of Helena Blavatsky. Let me briefly explain what Blavatsky's theosophy teaches. They teach that Lucifer and Satan are one and were originally worshipped as the sun, that Satan is the true savior who did the true sacrifice in the beginning of time, that Satan came from the planet Venus and is an angelic entity presiding over the light of truth. Theosophy also teaches that every astrological age brings something new and the upcoming age of Aquarius is said to be that of a utopia accompanied by a Maitreya or great world teacher or prophet. So any time now they expect a world teacher to usher in the age of Aquarius. They believe Jesus just represented the previous age of Pisces and that Christianity stole from the ancient mystery schools. Basically everything the film Zeitgeist talked about in the first part is what Theosophy believes to this day. And just like how Zeitgeist has advocated a new age utopia, the Theosophical Society's objectives were to promote the idea of a universal brotherhood of humanity. Don't you find it striking that the atheist New World Order researchers who are supposedly exposing the big Christ conspiracy get to make books, they get to go in films, go in television, go in documentaries and make all this money like Acharya S, Peter Joseph, the creator of Zeitgeist, Jordan Maxwell and David Icke, while the Christian New World Order researchers who expose the satanic empire and inform the people of the truth of Christianity get killed and jailed, such as William Cooper, John Todd, Fritz Springmeier, Philip Schneider. New religion is in fact being constructed by the New World Order. It's going to be one that is based on the idea that humanity was genetically engineered by an alien race in which our new understanding of our origins will lead us to an illumination of global understanding and a willful elimination of national sovereignty, even by those that used to fight such notions. And in this new global utopia, there might be people who say things like, our Bible told us that this false peace was going to happen, and it said it would look just like this and that it won't last but a few months before all hell breaks out. Those people need to be eliminated because they aren't ready for this new global peace. They are too afraid of it. They are what's holding the world back from global peace. And after the genocide of those people, everyone will find out for the first time what the real agenda of the new world order was. But at that point, for many, it will be much too late. 